Uh, what's going on guys? Just wanted to give you a quick update because I know you're like, Meow, what are we doing online? Blah, how can we build Legos? And obviously uh, you can't come here and I can't send them anywhere and you're supposed to be social distancing anyway. So here's my long-term plan. First, I'm going to give you a little coding challenge. This will be for everyone, not just whichever one of your partners is better at coding. So everyone is going to use the Lego Mindstorms make code to make a line following program that will work. That's what's on the screen. I'll show you more. Then you're actually going to deploy the code. You're going to use the Google Drive files, and then it's probably going to be some version of this robot. I'm going to slap two color sensors on it, and stuff's going to get exciting. And you're actually going to have it, like, you know, follow the line. And you'll send the code, and then I will send a video of the robot what it does, you'll tweak the code, send the code, I deploy the code, video, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be great fun, great times, and that's probably going to take a little while because, you know, it's going to take me a minute to run through all those trials. That one you can do with your partner. Everybody's got to do the main code with your partner. Program this robot with two color sensors on the front to follow the line. Then... Hopefully while you're coding and struggling with that, I will be building out the rest of this robot to actually do the challenge. And then again, you'll send the code. I'll send you a video of what your robot does. You'll tweak the code and we'll roll like that. So you can at least do the programming side of this challenge, even though you are going to miss out on a lot of engineering. When we come back in April, then we'll hit the siege hard. If there's any questions, use uh, you can fire at me on uh, Classroom with an email or I'm going to put my cell phone on there. You can holler at me on that. Don't worry. It all goes through my school email. So, like, you know, if you send inappropriate things, Mr. Will will still see them. So that's, that's fun, isn't it? Okay, so on the screen here, uh, this is obviously not code that's going to work and be useful in any way, shape, or form. However, what I'm looking for is when the robot sees blue, then it should say following the line. And if it's not following the line, it should be looking for the line. Keep in mind, you'll have two color sensors to use, so you probably want to keep the robot on the line using the two color sensors and some version of flopping right and left and right and left and right and left and right and left. Remember, look at the, look at the screen here. If you click on blue, it's, that is going to be, it's still reading blue. So this would be the robot's on the line. It's still reading blue, still reading blue. And then when you unclick it, now it is no longer, now it's off the line. So now it doesn't see blue. It should be finding the line. Here we're on the line. Here we're finding the line. Once you get that code worked out with your if-then case structure, actually making a line follower uh, won't be too bad. Also, uh, as usual, uh, you're going to submit your work on Google Classroom. Uh, the link on Schoology is just going to drop you right in Google Classroom. You'll submit the code like you usually do with, you know, annotation. Forget about the readme.md, but I do want to see comments. I want to see comments for this code. Just quick, dirty, make it look for the line if it's not blue. Make it say following the line if it is blue, and then we'll flesh out from there. Now get to work.